Welcome to Rail Fans. I'm Shane Sege. Join us as we discover Ottawa's O Train, Toronto's subway, and Montreal's metro system together. I'm Shane Sege. Joining me today is Wade O'Leary, who is the Vice President of the Finch West Light Rail Transit Project in Toronto. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Shane. So let's start out by talking about what is the Finch West LRT? Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yeah, so the Finch West LRT uh, project uh, includes approximately 11 kilometers of new uh, dedicated uh, semi-exclusive. And what I mean by semi-exclusive is that the lightweight rail transit uh, basically shares, although the, the track itself is exclusive, it passes through active or live intersections. Um, the light rail uh, transit uh, consists of roughly about 18 stops along that 11 kilometer corridor and uh, two new terminal stations, uh, including a below grade stop at Humber College campus and an underground interchange station at uh, the uh, TTC West Station subway station. Uh, we'll also include a maintenance storage facility uh, for the 18 Alston vehicles uh, located in and around the Jane and Finch area uh, next to York Gate Mall, for those of you who are familiar with the, uh, with the general area. Finch West Project, uh, like other uh, similar projects across the GTA, will certainly uh, add a tremendous amount of benefit and they're very much transformational. Uh, with respect to uh, spurring business growth and connecting communities. What need was identified to make the Finch West LRT a project that was worth pursuing and developing? A detailed needs uh, assessment was performed uh, along with, uh, with a, you know, obviously supporting business case, but uh, what was material was the fact that the current existing uh, uh, transit, so the buses, the TTC uh, buses that were supporting uh, that network uh, were at capacity. Uh, so the need was a mass transit, uh, 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 mass transit line uh, that could move a number of people much more efficiently. And this is where the Alston vehicle has come in and provided, uh, uh, will provide benefit as each individual vehicle, just put this in perspective uh, for yourself, uh, will hold up to up to almost or approximately 300 individual riders. Let's talk a bit about the line itself. So you mentioned 11 kilometers, 18 stations. Can you tell us a bit about where the line is being built and where will the line serve? So the line connects uh, the current uh, TTC University line uh, to Humber College, uh, which will serve you know the local communities. So you know whether it's uh, you know heading to class at Humber College, uh, shopping in one of the vibrant uh, local communities, or making other transit connections uh, to travel across uh, the region with Go, Midway, YRT, or even Zoom. The better way uh, to get there will be uh, with the, uh, the Finch West uh, LRT, which will move uh, very efficiently across uh, the Northwest uh, or Northwest Toronto. So let's elaborate a little more on the line. It's going to be mainly a surface uh, rail line, but there's also going to be the two underground stops at both terminuses. So can you tell us a little bit about, to start off, the Finch West station, which is going to be the terminus and the connection to uh, the TTC University line. The station, the existing uh, TTC station, which is located at the corner of Keel and Finch, uh, will be connected to the Finch West LRT uh, through a uh, main entrance uh, facility, which is, or main entrance uh, building, which is located uh, south, uh, south east corner of uh, Keel and Steel. And then uh, that will go down into the platform, and you'll have a very you'll have a, a pedestrian uh, tunnel that will lead into the existing station. The same thing uh, with an underground station at Humbler College. Can you talk a little bit about that station? Is it going to what, what's that station going to be like, and how will that integrate with the the college? 
the uh, the students will arrive at Humber College uh, stop, which is below grade, and uh, it's uh, it's cut and cover construction, and uh, they will be able to from the underground stop uh, through pedestrian walkways. The students will be able to access uh, access Humber College. And now the rest of the line is going to be on the surface. So can you talk a little bit about how um, that portion of or essentially over 90% of the line will, will look to uh, passengers for, from, for pedestrians, for cars and all that. How will that integrate into the streetscape? The uh, Finch West LRT line will run down uh, the center of Finch Avenue West. Uh, as mentioned, uh, it's semi-exclusive, meaning that the LRTs will share uh, the intersections with the traveling public. However, the rest of the line uh, with the exclusion of the intersections will be fully dedicated. The existing lane configurations uh, that we see along Finch West today, uh, both running east and uh, westbound, will remain uh, lane widths. Nothing will, will change from that regard. Um, however, uh, the, the, along the center median, again, from end to end, uh, is where the LRT, uh, will, will operate and be contained. In addition yeah. to the LRV, uh, we'll be adding, uh, multi-use bike lanes or, uh, uh, again, throughout the corridor. Can you describe a little bit? the surface stations that we'll see between the two terminus. Are they going to be similar to what people see currently, let's say, on the streetcar line? The stops along the corridor would be consistent with uh, what, we're, what you currently see along Eglinton or on Eglinton Crossdown. Moving on from the line itself, the rolling stock or the trains that are going to be used on the line it has been chosen the Alstom Citadus Spirit which is very much the same model as the ones in Ottawa. So can you tell us a little bit about why that model was chosen and um, some of the different features that customers and passengers will find on these new trains? Right, Shane. So we, we selected the Alstom Citadis uh, Spirit. Just, a, I guess, a couple important notes. Uh, firstly, is that you know these LRVs are being assembled at the new Alstom facility in Brampton. Uh, where once completed, they'll be uh, shipped uh, to our maintenance storage facility uh, for testing commissioning. Uh, regarding this, and as an FYI, uh, the Finch project was to receive the first two LRVs uh, before the end of uh, 2021. And as of today, our Finch West uh, project received uh, the first LRV at our maintenance storage facility as of the end of July, which is uh, very positive. Uh, as uh, the delivery of the LRVs are currently on track. With respect to the vehicles themselves, as mentioned, they are Alston products and uh, will consist of 18 individual vehicles. Each vehicle is approximately 49 meters in length with an overall capacity of approximately 300 riders uh, per vehicle. The Alston product was uh, selected Specifically, uh, because what it gave us as Metrolinx was the opportunity to acquire an off-the-shelf solution that ultimately met our specifications and requirements. And what this does uh, in terms of schedule was it gave us a little more certainty uh, around uh, the, uh, uh, the construction and ultimately the availability of the vehicle. Now, let's talk a bit about the advantages that this new line is going to offer commuters. So what what advantages will the, the commuters taking advantage of this new corridor be uh, privileged to? Once complete, uh, the Finch West LRT will greatly reduce uh, TTC bus traffic on Finch Avenue West, you know, particularly during uh, peak travel hours. Um, the Finch West LRT uh, will connect to other local transits, like uh, services like Go uh, Transit, Mississauga, uh, My Way, uh, Brampton Zoom, and uh, York Region's Viva Next at uh, the terminal at Humber at the Humber College stop, providing an important transit connection uh, for the neighborhoods of Jamestown, Rexdale, and Black Creek uh, to get people where they need to go basically faster than ever. Um, this LRT is one of the key projects in our overall rapid 
uh, transit program uh, that Metrolinx is building across the region. So can you talk a little bit about how the line is being built? Uh, you mentioned earlier that the one of the stations is being cut and cover. The rest of them are, for the most part, on the surface. So can you talk a little bit about the construction process that's being uh, undertaken? Progress for uh, Finch West LRT is on around 33% complete year to date. Uh, so specifically, um, the design uh, for the civil works is substantially complete. And uh, construction, as you may have seen, is progressing across uh, Finch Avenue West uh, from Keel to Highway 27. To be even more specific, uh, moving west to east uh, at our Humber College stop, uh, which is uh, one of the two underground terminals, concrete works for the foundation of the future stop uh, commenced on or around spring of this year, so in 2021. Uh, moving to our maintenance storage facility, or MSF, uh, which is an industrial building that houses and maintains uh, the 18 vehicles required uh, for uh, line operation along, fin along the, uh, the Finch West Corridor, and all operational maintenance staff uh, that will ensure the efficient operation of, uh, of the Finch West line, you know, as mentioned, will be housed there. Regarding the construction progress, the MSF is substantially complete as of today. Uh, the building envelope is fully erected, the track work is installed, and the OCS poles uh, have also been installed, and they're ready to be energized. Uh, which is critical as we start to transition into uh, 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 testing commissioning of these uh, Alston vehicles. It's anticipated that the MSF will be uh, fully commissioned by the end of this year. So again, 2021. At Finch West Station, uh, which we talked about a little bit earlier, uh, which is our east terminal station that connects the uh, current university line. Uh, currently, uh, the foundation works are ongoing at the main station box, uh, which houses uh, platforms and operational staff. Uh, with respect to the main entrance building, the concrete works for the foundations have commenced as of spring of 2021 and, uh, you know, are, are certainly well underway and certainly on track to meeting our key milestone date for the completion of the entrance building. With respect to the main line, so along Finch Avenue uh, from uh, Keel to Highway 27, currently, uh, you know, you know, there are guideway works uh, that include uh, rail and track slab works, uh, which, uh, which are ongoing, will be ongoing throughout the year and certainly the following construction season and uh, utility and structural works are also ongoing uh, the full length of the corridor. Um, the construction of the street level stops uh, have also commenced uh, this year uh, in 2021. And, uh, and what we're ultimately working toward as, uh, is, uh, is a target uh, uh, in-service date, uh, which we seem to be tracking well, uh, or which we are tracking well for, of 2023. Now, what kind of milestones and uh, progress are people going to see in the next two years as far as um, you know, station completion and trains actually running up and down the line for testing and commissioning. When will people start seeing these big milestones uh, be realized? Uh, so to answer your question, Shane, uh, some key milestones for this particular project, uh, there, well, there were many. Um, one of our first key milestones that took place last year was uh, the rapid uh, bridge replacement at Highway 400, which is a MTO structure. Uh, along Finch Corridor, uh, which was a bridge deck replacement that uh, took place over over a weekend in June. Um, so that was a very significant milestone uh, to accommodate uh, uh, our mainline uh, track uh, construction in other segments of the project. Another key milestone for us, uh, as I had mentioned, was delivery of the first LRV, uh, which we've achieved, and that would have been as of the end of July of 2021. Another key milestone that we're currently working toward is uh, completion of our uh, maintenance storage facility, 
which is targeted to be completed uh, uh, on well uh, fall of this year. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the track and the maintenance storage facility is all installed. Uh, our overhead catenary system is installed, uh, and uh, that facility will be energized along with what's called our burn-in section along Part D of the corridor uh, by, uh, by fall of this year. Uh, and this is very important because on or around November of 2021, we're going to commence uh, our testing and commissioning process of our Alston vehicles. Again, a very important milestone and uh, one that, uh, that you know, uh, we are working to achieve. Other key milestones uh, looking to the future, obviously outside of uh, uh, substantially completing the project and achieving revenue service is uh, completion of the main entrance uh, building at our Finch West station. Uh, and then of course, completion of the Finch West station, uh, which will be in uh, final completion of the Finch West station, which will be spring, summer of 2023, which will connect our TTC station again to uh, uh, the university line to our Finch West uh, LRT. So you, you've gone over already the major milestones that have taken place, the milestones that are yet to come. Um, can you speak a little bit about when the line will open? You said 2023. Is there any indication at what point in 2023 people will be riding the rails and the service will enter revenue? service for passengers to ride yeah so we're currently uh trending or based based on our, our current progress uh we are looking uh to uh to be in service in in fall of uh 2023 so you talked about the length of the line how many stations can you talk a little bit about um how long it's going to take from end to end and how frequent service will be on the finch west the round trip travel time uh, for the Finch West LRT line is approximately 76 minutes. Um, what, what that means, and to put that in perspective for you a little bit, when we get into uh, uh, peak operating hours and peak demand periods, uh, we're looking at uh, approximately five minute headways. So the Finch West LRT is being built by Metrolinx, but it's going to be operated by the TTC. So can you just talk a little bit about how the line is being developed and built by Metrolinx, but it's going to be handed off to the TTC to operate and be part of their transit network when it opens in 2023. Metrolinx uh, actively works with all stakeholders, uh, obviously, including TTC. TTC is very much a, a partner uh, with Metrolinx in this journey. And, uh, you know, as we, you know, throughout the, the design construction and certainly commissioning and testing phase. And, uh, you know, it's through this partnership that we ensure that, uh, you know, that we, you know, address and incorporate all their needs and requirements to ensure the smoothest possible transition at the time uh, that the LRT will be passed over to TTC for operation. So Wade O'Leary, thank you very much for your time today and speaking to us about the Finch West Light Rail Transit Project. Definitely an important project for uh, the greater Toronto region. Wade O'Leary, thank you very much for your time. Yes, thank you very much uh, for having me, Shane. Appreciate it.